Have you ever wondered how civil engineers install rebar for your house on a rough ground? Or how they tackle the uneven ground for achieving a level concrete slab? That's where lean concrete comes handy. So, guys, welcome back to IamCivilEngineer.com. I welcome you all to another amazing and super exciting explainer video about lean concrete. So, what's lean concrete? Well, a lean concrete refers to a mix where the cement used is less than water. Concrete with a high ratio of aggregate to cement is called lean concrete. Technically, the mix is called lean concrete mix if its cement content falls below 10%. So, what's the purpose of using a lean concrete? Lean concrete helps to seal the soil and create a level surface for building foundations. A layer of concrete, usually 5 to 10 century M thick, is placed on top of it. For example, fine material, for example, sand is used to fill in cracks on a pavement or earthworks layer. Our next part of video is about the mix ratio of lean concrete. Most common mix ratio used for lean concrete involves one part of cement with three and six or four and eight parts of sand and aggregate. In some cases, you can also use mix ratio of one part cement with five and ten parts of sand and aggregate. So, let's now see some of the recommended value of thickness for the lean concrete. For dam and heavy structures with foundation on rocks, the recommended thickness of lean concrete is 75 millimeters. For foundations or structures that will take the backfill, needs to have a more thickness of lean concrete, and so, the recommendation here is 100 millimeters. For raft foundation, you can use 50 millimeters, while for septic tanks and other sewerage system, you can use the same thickness of 50 millimeters. So, what are some benefits of using lean concrete mix? Well, lean concrete creates a uniform foundation surface and protects it from direct contact with soil. We use the lean concrete mostly under the foundation to protect our slab. The level surface also helps in fixing reinforcement. The bottom rebar of the foundation slab requires a good amount of cover to avoid risting. It avoids direct contact between foundation concrete and soil. It protects the main foundation from ground below. Moisture and other chemicals such as phosphates can cause concrete to crack or become weaker. So, that's all about our today's video. How'd you like it? I hope you've loved it. So, why not give us a big thumbs up? And don't forget to hit subscribe and get latest construction updates. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.